Welcome back to our kitchen at Relay Ortalia. Welcome everybody. It's been a while. Yes, we've had some year. 2020 is almost in the books. But we are gonna start cooking again and bringing our favorite recipes to all of you, our friends, family, and guests. So today is a real good one. We are gonna start the season off with schiacciato con l'uva which is a focaccia bread with grapes. Now, the harvest was a few weeks ago. Some grapes are not good enough, actually it's very sad, to go into wine. So we leave them on the vines to over ripen and get all their sugars concentrated. One could then put them in a dessert wine which, oh, I just happen to have one right here. Or one can bake with them or make marmalata. There's lots of different things. So Phil is going to quickly run outside and pick us some grapes for this fabulous recipe. So before we do that, we are actually going to combine our water, our milk, our sugars, and our yeast. And we're gonna give that about 10 minutes to activate the yeast and get all foamy. And then we're gonna come back and make our dough. So we're gonna mix it together and then we're gonna let it sit and activate and we'll be right back with you. We're gonna pick some rosemary that's gonna go on the top of our focaccia. So all season long, we make these beautiful flatbreads with all the different abundant ingredients in our garden. I put sausage on top, chipotle onions on top. Um, we can do a ricotta and pear. Today is an amazing recipe because we have these grapes that we didn't harvest and we left on the vine special to put in this focaccia that you can do at home. If you now don't have grapes growing on the vine, You'll probably want to go to the market and get a Concord grape, something that's really concentrated and delicious. So we've pruned the entire arbor here. Oh, we did. We, we did. Wow. <laughs> we pruned all of this. But we left these beautiful grapes up here to sort of over ripen. You can see the bees are swarming around them. And, so it, and it's really fun. <laughs> to prune grapes while the bees are swarming around you. <laughs> so we're going to get up there. Well, Phil is. We are. <laughs> we are. And we're going to get the ingredients we need for this delicious flatbread. And not get stung. Not get stung. <laughs> now, I was instructed by the chef only to get the best grapes. So um, without getting stung, I'm going to pick the ones that made it through the season. And uh, if you were to taste these grapes right off of the vine, uh, they are delicious. Mm. Super sweet, ready to go. So this is gonna be a great recipe. Okay. And, and we <laughs> will be cutting all of these grapes. Okay. Be careful of the bees. Don't bother <laughs> them. They're making honey for the winter. Good. The next step of our recipe is to actually make the dough. So we're going to take our flour, our salt, and this is pink Himalayan sea salt. That's what I like to use. And then we're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil in. Now I want you to take notice of my two olive oils here. This is organic olive oil that was harvested last year. This is our organic olive oil that's two weeks old. Do you see the difference? This hasn't oxidized yet. This I am not gonna cook with. I'm gonna put it on top, you eat this fresh. So I am going to put two teaspoons of olive oil in our focaccia, Woo! I just filled it up, that was on the outside. So I'm gonna do one, two. Now, if one has a KitchenAid, which I do not, hint, hint, Phil, you can do this in a KitchenAid. We're gonna do this all 
by mano, by hand. So we're gonna mix it up until the ingredients are combined, and then I'll finish kneading on our board. Okay, we're gonna take this incorporated dough, we're gonna put it on my floured surface, and then I'm gonna knead it for about eight minutes until I feel like it's spongy and pillowy and I can stick my finger in and I get a little sponge back. Can you see from over there or should I move anything? Ah, I got it. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna just start kneading. It's a little sticky, but we'll, we'll work it in. Now, just so you all see, this is the flour I'm using. It's zero, zero. Not so easy as it is to find in the United States than here. But if you go to a good organic market or an Italian market, you'll be able to find it. Zero zero just means it's finely ground and it's um, usually from Italy and it's an antique grain. Um, we are developing the glutens now, but it is a lower gluten non-GMO um, flour, which is good for all of us. So as you see, I'm using the heel of my hand, I'm twisting and I'm pushing away and I'm folding. And although you can do this in a KitchenAid, I prefer to do it by hand. So you you sure I'm mentioning that KitchenAid a lot. <laughs> well, the holidays are coming up. Um, but when your hands are actually in the dough, you can be a part of the bread, you can feel the dough, and you actually know when it's ready to let it rest. Can I have a wood chopping aid? Could I have a Sansa aid? <laughs> Could I have a grape cutting aid? <laughs> I guess they don't make those yet, huh? No, no. Okay, so I'm gonna continue kneading my dough over here. Then I am gonna put it in an oiled bowl, and we're gonna let it rest for an hour. So I think I've kneaded enough. Look at our dough. When you stick your finger in it, you see how it springs back. It has a really nice consistency. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and now let it rest and rise. So we're gonna put some olive oil in this bowl. Make sure everything doesn't stick. Then I'm gonna cover it up with saran wrap and let it rest for an hour. And I'll see you in a few minutes. an hour and a half. It's pretty cold here right now. Um, as you can see, we've doubled in size. So we're gonna go on with our next steps in making this focaccia. We're gonna put it out on a floured board. Okay. Just gonna feel it for a minute. Wow, that's great. And then we're gonna get it on our pan. And as you'll notice, there's a couple of steps and a couple of rises, and that's why focaccia, it takes longer to make, but it's so worth it. Right, Phil? Oh, yeah. So our next step is to heavily olive oil the pan that you're going to be cooking in. Now, some people use parchment, so it comes out easier. I like to cook directly on our pan. And since we picked olives for like three days in a row, <laughs> and, you, know, <laughs> you use it. We're gonna use it and we're gonna make it crispy. So here we go. We're gonna get it into our pan and we're literally, literally going to do whatever I can with my rolling pin flatten it out. Actually, this roller pin seems to be a little too big. So I'm going to proceed and just punch it out with my fingers. So you can see I have the dough in the shape that I want. I feel like today I picked out a bigger pan than normal, but I just made it fit appropriately. So now we are going to cover again very liberally with our Relay Ortalia Extra Virgin Organic Olive Oil. I'm gonna make little finger holes with my fingers and dimples so the olive oil soaks in beautifully everywhere. And then we are going to cover with a kitchen towel 
and let it rise again and we will meet you back here in an hour and a half. We have been rising for an hour and a half, so let's see what our dough looks like. Beautiful. So the next thing we're gonna do is top it and then get it in the oven. So we have these gorgeous grapes that who picked? I did. Awesome. They are super, super Oh, I'm sorry, we did. We did. <laughs> we, <laughs> we picked them together. Um, I filmed you. So we're gonna get these on. As you notice, I'm just pressing them in slightly. Oh, I can't wait to try this. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, perfecto. We are also going to sprinkle on some coarse raw sugar to top it, which will caramelize in our oven. So let me just tell you, we are gonna bake this uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 237 and a half degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. I am also going to put on some coarse sea salt. That was a good conversion. I know. Wow, it's not like I did yeah. it before we went online. Wow. The last thing we're going to top our focaccia with is some fresh rosemary that we picked in the garden. So I am just gonna give it a coarse chop and then add it onto our focaccia. Again, it's going to cook for 15 minutes in the oven and then we're gonna come out for our grand reveal and we're gonna taste it. So I'm gonna sprinkle on the rosemary, a little heavy because we like our herbs here in Tuscany. And again, I'm gonna push those in. Okay, let's hit it with a little more olive oil. Mm. And look, look how gorgeous this is. So let's go get in the oven and we'll see you in 15 minutes. Look how gorgeous it looks. It's brown, it's crispy. We're gonna cut a piece and we're gonna taste it. Okay, here we go. Should I taste first or do you wanna taste first? You taste it first. Okay, here we go. Mmm, sweet and salty and rosemary. The grapes are just perfect. Mmm. Oh, I love it. This is great. I'm gonna cut a piece for you. So we are so happy you joined us today. Smoke that. Cooper wants his You can piece. have a piece too, okay. <laughs> well, I'm chewing, Cooper can have a piece too. We are so happy you joined us today. As always, I'm gonna enjoy this with a, vino, a little Vino Nobile. And we are gonna start our weekly cooking classes so you can join us at Relay Ortalia in Montepulciano until you can get here in person. Cheers. Okay, everyone, I stopped him from working. I'm waiting for this. how gorgeous this is. Oh, I love it. You've done it again. Oh yeah? Fantastic. You so excited to start our cooking series again? Yeah, so excited. <laughs> I'll pick them, you bake them. Okay, you got it. We're a great partnership. Mm. Love you, babe. Love you. Thank you for joining us today. See you in Tuscany. We are waiting for you.